back to another video. Today we're back to another Premier League match day vlog and today we're playing Brighton at home. We've dropped out of the top four. All the teams around us have games in hand. It's going to be difficult to get back in there. It's looking unlikely, to be honest. There's a lot of teams on our tail now. Even Aston Villa are coming into the question, guys. Who knows where we're going to finish at the end of the season, what European competition we're going to be in. But we need to take this game seriously today. We need to get the three points. Brighton have had a very solid season and looking at how they've been playing this season, they're doing it right. And in my opinion, they deserve European football, whether that's the Europa League or the Europa Conference League. That will be massive for them. We managed to beat them earlier in the season at the Amex. That was just as Roberto De Zerbi was coming in. But he's really set up his system now. He's getting comfortable at the club. So today it's going to be even more challenging. He's set up very solid. A lot of their players are coming into really good form, especially Caicedo in the midfield. We need to end the season off on a high now, get every point that we can, aim for that Champions League football. We need to keep hold of some of the important players we have and attract new ones. Not only that, Antonio Conte has now left the club on a mutual agreement and we need to get a solid manager to come in and rebuild the struggles that we're going through at the moment. It's our first home game back for a while. We've got Stellini and Ryan Mason in charge of the boys for the remainder of the season. We need to get behind them today, push them for the full 90 minutes. I'm going to go for a 2-1 score prediction. Fingers crossed we can pick up these three points. Before we head up to the stadium, guys, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe for post notifications if you haven't already. Let's head up to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to get these three points. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> We've arrived we're finally inside the stadium and the team is out. We've put our strongest lineup forward to be honest. It's the same team that played Everton. The front three of Kane, Kulazewski and Son is our best front three. We've got Romero at the back, Pedro Poro, Perisic on the wing back. It's a strong team, but is it enough to get these three points? I'm gonna stay confident. Brighton have also got a solid team, but we should have enough to hopefully get these three points and win Spurs. Simple, simple stuff. Set piece from the corner, ball comes in, back post, free header. It's, it's really is as easy as that. We've had a wake up call before this with a disallowed goal and it wasn't enough and they've gone and got the equalizer. Play wide! Oh. 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 Right guys, half time. We started off pretty strong. We were creating chances in them first 20 minutes, but we only managed to get one goal out of all of them. What a goal it was though. It seems like we're playing the complete opposite to how we played under Conte. With Conte, we started off really slow and grew into the game. And I'm hoping that we don't drop out of this because Brighton can clearly take this in the second half now. They're creating an abundance of chances. I don't know who we have on the bench that we can bring on to reinforce it. In my opinion, it's the formation. I think we should try something else, potentially put four at the back. I don't know why Stellini or Ryan Mason isn't trying that. We need something to change, to be honest. The game's starting to die a little bit. We need to get a second burst of life going into the second half, get that second goal, and hopefully that's enough to secure the three points. I'm going to stay on my 2-1 score prediction. Come on, you Spurs. Perisic, go on! Oh, he saved it! No! No! Really? Danny Welbeck takes a shot. Shocking, shocking deflection. Sends it completely the other way. And he beat Hugo Lloris. Let's hope he gets checked. Don't believe our luck. 
be that their goal was really lucky. The way it deflected looked so dodgy. But McAllister had ball. Again, another wake up call. It's their second goal disallowed now. Come on, Tottenham, to wake up. Game's getting lively. It's kicking off on and off the pitch. Even with the backroom management staff. 30 minutes to go, though. The whole game's completely paused now. Come together, we're going trade chances. The time is ticking though. I'm in need for a second. Come on. Win that. Space. Kane! Yeah! 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 Come on! Yeah! Harry Kane, what a finish. He had so much space on the edge of the box. Again, you just know he's going to finish that. Yes! Yes, so close to the end of the game. Well, what is it, like the 80th minute? Harry Gain and Danny on the score sheet. You don't miss that. Just caught Dan Juma on his goal. Yeah! Yes, guys, full time at the top of Monster Stadium. Three points. At last, our home form isn't too bad to be fair. We get our last five, we picked up quite a few wins now. We've done it in the end. It wasn't the tidiest of performances. Definitely not a complete performance. We conceded that goal, we gave away chances. But you know what? Three points is all you can ask for, and that's what we got today. We've got some difficult games coming up, to be honest. Newman Tunnel with that rocket of a goal in the 10th minute. Bringing him into the Premier League Hall of Fame of the 100 Club. I think there's only about 24 players in there, and he's now one of them. No one deserves it more than that. It's a massive confidence boost from a big pickup. Only eight more games to go now, guys. We're still three points out of that top four. But you know what? It's something to build on from today. Stellini got the red card. Zerbi got the red card. So I think that means Stellini won't be on the bench for the game next weekend. Guys, what a win, though. Once again, I've got the score prediction spot on 2 1. So make sure you drop a like for that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future ones. Until the next one, I'm